But it, it all changed for me when I was about, I'm guessing about six years old. I grew up in Georgia, and it's, this is like a hot summer day. It's mid-August. It's like the inside of someone's mouth, right? It just, it, it, the, 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 the sort of hot air comes up from the, the Gulf Coast and comes up the Chattahoochee Valley, and it hits the Piedmont of Georgia, and it dumps rain every afternoon in August, about four in the afternoon. And it may, it, the, you know, the asphalt's just hot enough to fry frogs on. It's just, you know, they, and they're all flattened out because they've been run over by cars, and they just, they're, like, they're translucent because they've just been dried out there. So the, I'm sitting in a pile of sand, and it's a big pile of sand, about, about as big as this, right off the ground. Beside me is this old black guy, and his name is Snipes. He's, he always said he was 90 years old. I don't know how old he is, but he wore overalls, and he had a little fedora hat. It had been there forever and ever. And we're sitting under a, uh, a corrugated steel roof, old beat-up thing. It's an old nail shed that they put sand in, and there's a nail keg right over here. And do you know the word meniscus? It's a cool word. Meniscus is, is like in, in chemistry, you'll have it when you measure something, and you wouldn't get the bubble just, just above the level. It bubbles up a little bit. That's the meniscus. It's like a lens. I'm sitting there. I certainly did not know that word, but I'm sitting there. I can see the, the level of the, the water is just above. It's like, it is like a lens, but it looks like a piece of glass. I'm just right at the eye level. And there's one drop. The rain has passed, hot, 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 and there's one drop going bloop, bloop, real slow, bloop, like that. And Snipes beside me goes, Fred, you ever watch the water trip? No, sir. Look at it. Watch it. Look at it. It don't look like a water drip, does it? I looked at it. And as it came down, it looks more like a bullet. And he said, watch it. It's going to go down, and it's going to hit that water, and it's going to blow a hole in it like a crater. Boom! Boom! It's going to blow it open. And then that crater is open, and it's going to start closing up like a balloon. And the lips on the top of that, you'll see it open up, and I can see it. I can see it. Boom! It's like a, just a split second, you'd see it open up. It would close up, and as it does, the water pushes up, she pushes the air out of it, and it's a little whoop. It goes boom, whoop, boom, whoop, boom, whoop. You see that? I said, yeah, I, I see that. He said, you can do that. What do you mean? Let me show you. Now, this guy has picture his face. His face looks like a National Geographic relief map. This is old face. And he's got you know, uh, silver hair, and he's got whiskers here. It's real close. And, and he's got sort of yellow, red eyes. And, you know, just this old guy, uh, I mean, the whites of his eyes are sort of, you know, just kind of the word, I think there's a word for that, but glaucus. Oh, by the way, meniscus is also that little half moon on your, on your thumb, on your fingers. That's meniscus. Or the moon, if it, the dark side of the moon, when you see it's like a, a sliver of moon, and you see the rest of the outline, that's meniscus as well, I think. Anyway, so, see, you've got vocabulary you're learning here. <laughs> all right, all right. So, he says... Here's what it sounds like. Now, I'm going to show you how to do this, but don't do it yet. Mm. He did that I, so close I could feel the heat of his face. And he did that right there. And I, that, that perfect, craggy the, that face, out of it came this perfect, rounded water drip sound. I couldn't believe it. And I said, Oh my gosh, how do you do that? Show me how to do that. And he said, okay. And he, I'll show you how to do it. I can't really see it. The light's pretty bright, but you can do this. Breathe through your nose. Imagine you have water in your mouth. All right. All right. Now, do you have to do this? You have to do this. It makes me feel less stupid, so you got to do this. <laughs> so, now you can thump. That's good. I hear you. Oh. Yeah, some of you know this. Yeah, that's, that's a very good water drop show off. Show. Yeah, that's, that's better than mine. That's very good. Uh, you, you've got a big mouth. That's nice. You've got resonance. Use that resonance. That's good. That's, that was not an insult. That was a compliment for me. Yeah. Uh, so, now what you want to do, if you remember this morning when you brushed your teeth, and I hope you did brush your teeth, uh, you, could, you spit the water out. When you spit water out, you don't blow it out. You don't do that. You go, you push your tongue out. <laughs> 
You make it, you, you suddenly make your, you push your tongue forward and it pushes the water out. So imagine you have water in and there's two sounds. Now listen, now, I'm going to do the sound separately and then I'm going to pull them closer together. That's what you want to do. It doesn't have to whistle, but it helps if you can. And you can do this. Let me see. Right. This is this is awkward. Wait. <laughs> so I'm just pushing the water out. Pushing the water out. I'm going. <laughs> 